All right, guys, real quick, I'm just going to show you guys how to download mods in Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. This is going to be the full tutorial for PC and for the Steam version. This is not for any cracked version. You need to have a legit version of Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. This is an updated method since mods are using the JSON files now that you have to manually uh, edit in order to add the mod. So real quick, let's just get started. All right, first things first, you're going to need the UTLC signature bypass patch for Spark Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. To enable the mod loading all you're going to do here um, is literally links can be in the description go down here go to files boom you're going to hit manual download hit that slow download and i'm gonna go back to files and right here in the description it's going to show you actually how to what to do and how to find your directory and where to put everything so real quick i'm going to drag open my downloads folder here we're going to extract Bow. We're going to open this up and you're going to take this here and you're going to go into your Dragon Ball Sparking Zero directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this file to the side. We're going to open up our Sparking Zero directory. So we're going to go to this PC, Windows, Program Files x86. You're going to scroll down to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and you're going to look for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Bow. This is going to be your main directory. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into Sparking Zero, Binaries, Win64, and you're going to drag and drop this plugins and this dsound DLL into this folder. Bow. And that's all you have to do to install the bypass mod. Now let's jump into how to get the mod loader that you're going to need for new character slots. All right, guys, you're going to need this mod loader here in order to get new character slots and also like transformations and stuff like that. It's basically what you need to load the mods, pretty much. Um, link is in the description as well. You're just going to scroll down to the files. You're going to hit that manual download. Slow download. Real quick, you guys can download using, uh, was it Unvarium or Unverum or whatever. I don't do that because I manually doing it is a lot easier in my opinion. That way if something messes up, I can fix it. Regardless, after downloading it, you're going to go to your downloads. Boom. You're going to extract it. Open it up. You're going to go into this mod loader. And this is where you're going to need to do a mods, mods folder now. So the easiest way to do this is go into your Sparking Zero again. Go to Sparking Zero. Boom. And right here. Where it says binaries of content. If you open this up, it has zero spark and SZ mod lib. Easiest way to do it is just back out and drag and drop the mods folder here. Creates a mods folder for you. Very simple. Now let's jump in how to get new characters. All right, guys, for new characters, I just went ahead and grabbed this one because this is not one that I have yet. I don't have any installed right now. I, I dragged them out the, the files, but this is a new one I will keep afterwards. We got Vegeta Z Resurrection F new character. Uh, link uh, and again, in the description, if you scroll down here, basically tells you information and it says how to install one click install using Unverum. It's recommended. I don't know this system. I don't know the this program. I don't know if it, if it works well. All I do know is that if it messes up, I don't know how to fix it um, without going all the way in the files. But if I manually do it, I can fix it. No problem, which is very easy. This also shows you how to manually install it pretty much. So let me show you guys how to do this. If you if this doesn't make sense to you guys, because there's a different mod that I downloaded that didn't make sense at all. All you're going to do is go down here and then it's up to you guys which one you want. It gives a description right here and right here. I'm going to go the same beyond God because that sounds awesome. Download this one. Once again, we're going to go back to our download folder. Boom. We're going to extract. Ooh. All right, after you extract, you're going to look something like this. You're going to go in here, go in here, and hit these JSON files. So all you're going to do now is you're going to go into your Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. Go to Mods. You're going to go into Zero Spark because we're going to have to edit the JSON files. You're going to go to the JSON, and then you're going to drag and drop these JSON files in, in this in this uh folder into your Zero Spark JSON folder. Bam. And now you have to edit it. After dragging in the files, you need to open up this JSON files.json. Right click it, hit open. Or here, I guess you could do right click, open with notepad. And then all you're going to do 
the easiest way to do this to make sure you don't mess up is go where the comma is and highlight it all the way over to here and you're going to hit control C then you're going to left click right here at the end you're going to hit control V and you're going to type in pretty much the name of this file Vegeta R of base so let me do this right here we're going to do cap make sure the capitals and everything are correct Vegeta capital R capital O F capital B lowercase a s e boom and what I do is I just hit a copy again because the Vegeta stuff's already there and I just hit control V and then we do Vegeta R O F S B G. Okay, so now we do Vegeta R O F Bang. Then we do capital S B G. And then I just do a scan. Control bang. And then we'll get rid of this. Vegeta R O F S S G S S. So Super Saiyan got Super Saiyan. All you're going to do after this, you're going to hit File, Save. That's going to be one way how you install a new character mod. Let me show you the other method as well. All right, guys, this is going to be the the second way how to download new characters because for some reason, mods are a little different. But basically, I'm going to do the Ultra Eagle one. New slots. You're going to go down. Same thing. Link in the description. Hit the manual download. Bow. Like once again, go over to our downloads. We're going to extract. This one's a little easier. Less steps. You're going to go to your Spark and Zero folder. You're going to click into your mods folder. Bang. And all you're going to do is you're going to open this up. Once you open the file and you open it again and you see the content resources and the plugin stuff, you're just going to back out and drag the Ultra Ego folder in. Boom. And that's it. This method's way easier. It's literally just a drag and drop. But some require dragging the folder in. Some require going into the JSON files and editing. And then some also require dragging the folder in and then editing the JSON files. Now let's jump over to getting transformations. Well, Spark and Zero, it really sucks that Piccolo can't transform. I mean, he can't do it in the show, but I still would want him to. So there's a mod here, Piccolo, where you can transform into Fuse Kami. All you're going to do, download, bada boom, boom, baps, download, like always. We're going to go back here. I'm going to get rid of the Ultra Ego stuff. You're going to extract your folder file. Open it up. Piccolo transform. Boom. Same thing like before with the new characters. All you're going to do is go to your Dragon Ball Spark and Zero directory. Go into Sparking Zero, Mods, Zero Spark. You're going to go into JSON. You're going to drag and drop this JSON file. Boom. Then you're going to open this up. Your JSON file, JSON. And just like before, we're going to go ahead and hit that copy. Boom. Hit that paste. We're going to go inside these quotation marks. And we're going to type in exactly what that file, JSON file says. P-I-C-O-O-L-O. -O -O -O. That's it. And we're going to hit file, save, boom. And that's how you do the transform mod. Same for the Majin boots, same for the cell one as well. All right, guys, last one. We're going to go ahead and do costumes or skins, I guess you could say, for Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. All you're going to do, link in the description like before. Scroll down, down low, bada bing boom maps. Then we're going to oh, go to our download folder. I already downloaded it, so let me delete this. You're going to extract, open it up. And real quick, before we do anything else, we need to go into our Sparking Zero folder again. Go to Sparking Zero, boom. And then from here, where your mouse folder is, right above it, content, open the content folder. Go to packs, and then you're going to right click, new folder. You're going to do the squiggly line thing. I don't know. Here, let me, let me drag this up so you guys can see. What's that? That little squiggly line, uh, the squiggly line thing. Oh, it's right next to your one key above the tab. We you do that, and then do mods. And you're going to hit enter. Wow. Open that up. And then you're going to go to your downloads folder. And you're going to open this up. Open it. See, look, it tells you to do it right here. So you could just drag and drop that. But I'm going to go in and drag these files here. Boom. Some clothing mods have it to where it's the name and then the packs inside. 
you can just drag the name over. If it doesn't work, go in and drag the whole all the files inside and it should work. Let's jump into Dragon Ball Spark and Zero and show you guys that it works. Alright guys, as we're loading in, one of the first things you want to do, especially getting the one of the clothing mods, go over to the customize because sometimes it's on a different outfit. If you go to customize, we had Vegeta Yard Rat. So we gotta find Vegeta. Here we go. So it's already equipped. His outfit's already equipped. But sometimes like Videl has one where you have to go in and actually customize it, but his is already equipped. As you see, that one is working. All right, so as we go in here, we're going to be looking for our downloaded mods, right? We downloaded, we got Piccolo, who can transform. As you see, he can transform up to this one, and he can transform down. So we're going to go ahead and pick Piccolo, and make sure that works correctly. Now it's my turn. All right, we have a new slot mod where it was Vegeta, I think it's this one. We have the Resurrection F Vegeta, right? So this is our new character slot mod. It looks like the super one. Our mod actually went over this one, which is fine. It doesn't matter. Boom. We also have the Ultra Ego Vegeta. Bang. I'm pretty sure that was all for our mods. Now let's just go in game and verify that they work. Hey, go away from me. All right, as we got Piccolo, as you see right here, we hold up. Press X. Piccolo is going to transform to Fuse. And he should have Hellzone Grenade when he fully charges up here. Yes, he does. We're just going to use it. I don't know if we're going to hit or not, but we'll use it. Of course he hits it. Alright, now that we can switch out, let's go ahead and check out Ultra Ego Vegeta. Oh, baby. This is crazy. Look how strong he is. Alright guys, as you see, Ultra Ego works. We got Gil about to kick my ass. <laughs> I think his uh, attacks are like crazy though. Let's use our ultimate with Ultra Ego. Use his Spear Destruction. I don't even know if that hit. All right, this is our Resurrection F Vegeta. All right, with him we can go. I don't know what this is for Vegeta. Now let's go Super Saiyan God with him. That works. We're vibing. All right, guys, that's going to be all for this one. If I helped you guys in any way, and if you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button down below. Make sure you guys comment down below if you guys need help. A lot of it's straightforward. You just either need to make sure you're dragging in the correct files or just literally following the tutorial or the mod description exactly what it says. Because just because I said do it this way, they might add another way, like my previous video. Like they added a new way to do it. So this is a new way to do it. Regardless, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button. Make sure you guys go check out the channel. Check out the videos on there. Hit that channel trailer. Go hit that like button on the channel trailer. This shit's fire. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.